<laughs> Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. Hello, travel friends, and welcome to this brand new series coming to you straight from Japan. In this series, we're taking you through some of Japan's best hotspots and getting a little bit lost along the way. So hit the subscribe button and let's get on with it. Hey guys, welcome back. We're obviously day two now in Tokyo. Uh, we're going to check out a very cool experience down south of Tokyo called Team Lab Borderless. Um, we actually got a Team Lab Planet. Uh, so this was like $45 Australian dollars. Yeah, it's a little bit expensive, but it's, but, a, it's an incredibly well-renowned um, art installation, yeah, interactive art installation. Very cool concept art, they say, but it's considered a museum. Um, it's one of those ones you see quite a lot on Instagram where um, it's full of mirrors, plenty of lights flashing, lanterns, uh, really cool to sort of take photos of it. Alright you guys, we've made it. Don't know if you can see it, it's in amongst those trees. We've had a hell of a time to get here. We left Kanda, took a train to Tokyo, took a train all the way out to wherever we are right now and then we, we had, had a 3k walk. We had a, a lovely local that... We were... Oh, this lovely, lovely man just like kept us up for like 20 minutes trying to explain how to get there and like all I was doing was checking the trains to make sure I was on the right one and oh my god he was real sweet though but anyway we're here and I'm really really excited to do this I don't know a lot about Team Lab Planets like Team Lab Borderless is the one that everyone goes to so this will be really exciting and that's the station oh really but it's not a JR line it's a metro oh. but we don't mind a walk so Team Lab Planets is an interactive museum that you have 100% probably seen on Instagram before that consists of seven different body immersive artworks to explore. Alright, and we're using Kluke to get in because Kluke is the greatest travel app I've ever come across. <laughs> I love it, it's so easy. So this place opens at 10 and it's 22 minutes past 10 now and we have until Dumb, one minute to one. Yeah, so it's all like time stages. Right. Yeah. I think that's so they don't have too many people in at once. Which is good. Yeah. We were here back in November last year, so I'm pretty sure at the moment due to COVID-19, the Team Lab Museums are actually closed, but I hear they're reopening in August. So if you're in Japan, get yourself some tickets. <laughs> Let me in. Oh no, I'm panicking. It's alright, all good. Okay. Oh, thank you. This is an introduction to fully enjoy Team Lab Planets. Team Lab Planets is a space to be enjoyed barefoot. Please take off your shoes here. Your foot will be wet in some spaces. Please take off your socks and tights in the locker room. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. You guys, this place is sick. You're not going to be able to see much, but it is awesome in here. These lights look so cool. Oh my god, I'm actually really nervous. Oh my god, can you hear that water? Yeah. I think this is the water. Ah! So each of the seven artworks we walked through had their own story and their own meaning behind what was created. The second one after the waterfall walk was actually this big squishy soft black hole thing which was like all these really massive soft cushions that you kind of just like crawled through, jumped through. It was actually amazing but it was so dark we couldn't film. Alright, I'm loving these fairy walls. These walls feel so good. I think it's a 
a mirror. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Like I said before, some of these rooms were incredibly dark, so the filming was not great. I apologize for that. But this room was particularly cool. It just had this white, milky water that was about calf deep and these amazing light projections just swimming around on the surface. It was quite surreal. Beautiful, yeah. I just can't believe it. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't even, I don't understand. This place is unbelievable. I have no words. <laughs> that's a good though. <laughs> it's been so good. We've been through three rooms, and my camera's already nearly flat. That's how much photographing and filming I've done. It's so beautiful. Yeah.
Best thing you've done thus far? This is one of the coolest things I've ever done in my whole life. Whole life. Oh my god. Jesus. I love it. It's so fun. Alright, you guys, I've run away from Kieran. I'm gonna try and scare him. He's over there filming. I'm gonna go hide. I've been sneaking around trying to hide. I was trying to sneak you. around, but I, like, I gave up. I was like, I was just waiting. <laughs> We'll move on to the next one. Yeah, let's go to the next one. Where's the door though? This must be the place of no return. <laughs> I feel like I'm in like a, a Disney cartoon or something. Like I can't work out which, but I feel like I'm in a movie or a cartoon. Yeah, it's weird. I found it. I found the door. Found let's the go. <laughs> <laughs> The last room was also way too dark to film, but it was probably one of the most mind-bending rooms we came into. You guys, we're in the next room, and it's all mirrors and this beautiful projection on the roof. It's like the planetarium. It literally looks like the planetarium. not complaining. No, we thought we were going to run out of time. That was amazing. And just in time too, because my camera's about to go flat. <laughs> my brain literally feels tired. I, I, after no, that. I was about my brain to say is exactly. really tired. I feel like I need to sleep now. Just move into the shade. Oh, all right, you guys, how long did that take us? We went in at 10 and it's 12.04, so we were in there for two full hours. Oh no, we went in at 10.30. So about an hour and a half and I think you get three hours per ticket and honestly guys take spare camera batteries and just enjoy it like I if I could go back through again I'd probably just like spend longer just like sitting and looking and taking it all in like it's very much sensory overload and I think that's the idea of the art is to just give you like wild sensory overload but oh my god did you love that I love that that was my favorite easy in um, Japan? Yep. Really? Yep. Wow. Even from the rides from Universal. Yeah, Tokyo is sick. There's even so the calligraphy cool class. So there is also Team Lab Borderless. So we're not going to do it because we can't afford to spend $80 each on sensory overload. Um, but that one does look really, really cool too and way more popular. This one's very quiet at the moment. So I think it's newer, but I highly recommend that. Oh my God. My eyes and my brain, like I feel like I need a nap now, <laughs> but I'm scared if I nap, I'm going to have like an acid trip. Like it's going to be <laughs> full on. <laughs> anyway, now we're heading back to I think we're going to head back to our hotel and have a little light lunch. Yep. And this afternoon we're heading to Akihabara, which is what Kieran has been looking forward to this entire trip. And that's the anime district. Best so day ever. So excited. Let's go have a nap because mm. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's about 4 o'clock and we've just been back to our hotel in Kanda to have a shower. I freshened up a little bit because I was feeling really tired and gross. And we are heading to... Akihabara? Akihabara. Are you excited? Not very good. It was like your day, hey? This is literally the three things you wanted to do all in one day. I didn't realize that. All right, you can edit this episode. Does this feel like the right place? It sort of does look like the right place. Look at all the bloody...
Cool. You seem like a bit lost and confused. Why is everything in Japan so cute? Look at the Where we ended up. Yeah, that's where we ended up. That was just anime porn pixelated. heaven. Not even pixelated porn. <laughs> Yuck. That was a mistake. <laughs> Holy hell, this place is hectic. <laughs> I wish I could read Japanese. So. Why can't you get the cat one? What was the cat one? It's so cute. Look at its little pages. It's like Japanese Garfield. Japanese Garfield. That is so cute. Can I have a butter toast napkin? Yes, you can have a butter toast napkin. You're so nice in these stores. Can I have a BLT bag? You can have all the above. Look at the bag. Where are you pulling these from? A toast pencil case? <laughs> Give them to your mum. They're cute. Perfect. <laughs> Look, I've got a mask now. <laughs> let's go play some games. I'm ready for me to whip your weevil and Mario Kart. No, let's go over the what you first said. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get back my uh, dignity. Nah, you've got to get me back eventually, so I think tonight's the night. You're supposed to be really good basketball, but now you put me under too much pressure. I'm like... surprisingly good at arcade basketball. Look, all we're going to say is just get a girl that tests you and she does, so it <laughs> makes things a lot more fun when it's uh, competitive. It's just his way of feeling better about himself. I want to prove her. I wish you could win at claw games. Ready? Set? Go. You ready? No. I'm gonna win this. All right. <laughs> Once I'd be finished whooping Kieran's ass at Mario Kart, we had to do one more quintessential Japanese thing before leaving Akihabara. <laughs> so guys, that is it for Akihabara and Team Lab Planets. Next week though, we are taking you to bloody Disneyland and I am so stoked about this one. Cannot wait to show you. If you haven't already, hit like and subscribe and we will catch you next Wednesday. See ya.